In recent years, China has earned a reputation as a land of opportunity for people from all over. Many reports, studies, and news articles have been put out in the past decade, chronicling China's rise on the world stage. This chance at prosperity has attracted thousands of foreigners to China, hoping to take advantage of the opportunities seen here that may not be available back home. Many foreign expats leave their families, homes, and everything that's familiar to chase success all the way to Beijing. The population has increased uh, significantly since I was here. Since okay. I've been here, I've been here for five years. Okay. And we've seen, although you have a lot that are, that are in and out, uh, you have a very large population of students, and the number of students is increasing. Okay. And you also have a number of uh, foreign companies that are, that are establishing themselves here, and with that, they're bringing over employees. And Okay. And growing the workforce. And then you also just have people that are interested because of the economy. But China isn't just some wide open wilderness. It's the exact opposite. With a population of around 1.3 billion, it's the most populous nation on earth, with most of its industries either heavily regulated or completely state run. Hearing the phrases state run or heavy government regulation may cause some people to get the wrong impression of how business is done in China. There are plenty of opinions about the subject, ranging from a little off to just plain wrong. I think there are a lot of misconceptions around doing business in China. Okay. There's the big cultural and language differences mm -hmm. that people might be very apprehensive to dive into that. Yeah. Um, there's the not so straightforward regulation sometimes that you really do not know um, how one specific topic is going to be regulated. Mm -hmm and hence the horror stories that come uh, and that have become legends. The news of China's growth isn't just geared towards massive conglomerates and corporations. More and more foreigners are finding it easier to start their own businesses. Do you think you would have had these kind of opportunity uh, if you tried to do this back home? No, not at all. Okay. I mean, um, in Germany, you have to know people to get a manager job somewhere. It doesn't matter what company. I mean, that if, if you open newspapers, you never see an ad looking for a manager. You mm. just never see it. Mm. You know. Okay. And uh, if you do, then they require people that are 20 years old and have 30 years of job experience. Uh -huh. The underlying opinion of many foreign business owners and many expats in general is that there are plenty of untapped opportunities here. Expats who come to China feel that the doors that were closed to them in their home countries due to a lack of skills, a bad economy, or just too much competition are wide open in China. One of those expats is Rose Lin Zamora, a student from Ghana who decided to open up a restaurant in Beijing after she graduated from college. It kind of grew on me, actually. It wasn't something I woke up and said, I'm going to open a restaurant. No. Mm. It was more like, you know, have a few, um, have a gathering in my house, invite some friends over, and then I'll cook, and then mm. they'll come and eat for free. Okay. <laughs> and then people started asking for more of the food. I would make some jerk chicken, some African food, because what I do is African Caribbean food, it's not mm. just Caribbean food. Mm. And so people started asking, you know, can you cook? We come and eat and we'll pay. Okay. So, it kind of gave me ideas. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I wasn't in a position to start anything at the time because I was still in school studying Chinese. Mm. So, and I started, you know, doing a bit of research to see if there was a market for it here, which there is. Because mm -hmm. up to today, I'm the only person doing my kind of food. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've never run a restaurant, nothing like that. Okay. Nothing. Um, in terms of experience, I have worked in a restaurant before. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, back in the UK, it was just a bit of, you know, training. It mm. wasn't something major or anything. But here in China, whilst I was at school studying Chinese, um, my teacher introduced me to a friend of hers who had a restaurant very far away in mm. Shijinshan. And so I worked there for about six months while studying. Mm. It was very tiring, but it was just for experience. Mm. So, because I had in mind when I was cooking for friends to come and eat, I, I had in the back of my mind that eventually I want to start something here. Mm. So I did that to get a bit of experience and, you know, find out how things operate here in terms of running a restaurant in China. Okay. Yeah. So, hmm. that was just for experience, nothing else. Okay. Um, do you think you would have this kind of opportunity if you were back home? Uh, home, home, yes. Home as in Ghana. Yes, yeah. yes, definitely. Um, but I think there are more opportunities here for this kind of food. Mm. Because, you know, I also do African food. And of mm. course, Ghana is Africa. So, you know, mm. you've got 
competition there is far greater than here. Mm. Whereas in Beijing, I can count the amount of African restaurants mm. on my fingers. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. And Chinese people are very curious, they'll try anything. Okay. And if it's good, they'll come back. Okay. Yeah. You can, and what I've noticed actually is that most people here who are very successful, they didn't plan on, I'm going to China to do this. You know, you come here and then you find out this could work or that mm. could work. And that's kind of how things kind of grow. So there's definitely opportunities here. Mm. Now, running this business hasn't been a walk in the park for her. But despite all the hardships, Rose continues to stay positive. What people hear back home is the worst side or the bad things that mm. the Chinese government is doing. There are good things too. I mean, I've been here three and a half years and I haven't come across anything, you know, very bad or uh, racism or anything like that. It's a nice place to be, mm. you know. They're not that strict. In fact, sometimes I think they're very kind to foreigners. Mm. I really do. I've been here three and a half years and I can tell you, I've had help from my teachers to friends to the handyman that comes to my house to fix the plug, you know. They're mm. very friendly, very nice. I mean, I'm not saying all Chinese people are like that, but if I was to compare in terms of people, personality, attitude, China's better than the UK. Mm. China's a great place. Mm. It really is. I mean, it's not 100% perfect, but mm. nowhere in the world is 100% perfect. Mm. So I would say, you know, whatever your ambitions are, you have to try and you have to focus and just aim high. Mm. Pas be passionate about whatever you want to do. Mm. Yeah, that's what keeps me going.